Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see how to create an invoice for your business. So now, let's begin. As you can see, I'm on the dashboard. Uh, I'm on the home page, which is also called the dashboard in Wave Accounting. Now, here on the extreme left hand side, you can see there is there are a few options given. The third option is your invoice. So click here. If you click here, this invoice option is going to open up. Now from here, we are going to see how to create an invoice. But before that, if you're opening this, uh, this invoice option for the first time, you're going to get a pop up where you can customize your invoice. You can put your logo, the, the name, the, uh, the, the footnotes that you want to give you can do it but since i'm opening it for the second time it's not giving me the, that option now i can change i can do the customization from here as well you can see on the top left hand uh, right hand side sorry here is the option of uh, setting if you click on the downward arrow you will see some invoice and bill option the second is your invoice and bill option where you get a uh, uh, another option is invoice customization you click on invoice customization now you can customize your invoice the way you want here you can choose your company logo choose the company logo file and upload your company logo so I'm going to upload it from here you can upload your company logo display the logo you put a tick if you you can display the logo just tick on the checkbox then uh, the whether what is it is it uh, a product is it a service what they have to give a title to the invoice title to the invoice now this is a product this is a service so i tick on i click on service now also you can give a color you can choose the color shade if you want a blue color shade so this is how if you want to give a green you can give a green shade so i'm choosing a red shade because that goes well with the logo since it is in red then the in other invoice settings are what is your payment default default payment term suppose if your terms your payment terms are 15 days then you can choose on 15 days so days there are a few options so i'm i'm clicking on due and received once they receive the invoice it becomes due now the title it, it can be either invoice or if you want to put it as bill you can put it as bill because some some people wants to uh, some some countries they prefer using bill instead of invoice so here you can use invoice or bill whatever you want and next is subheading if you want any subheading like your tax number or your i'm just putting a tax number random tax number and then if you want a default a footer note you can put a footer so i'm putting it as thank you then if you want a hmm, standard memo then uh, this you can put a note here and this is going to be reflected in all your invoices so whatever settings you are going to do right now it's going to be reflected until and unless you go and go back and change from the settings option so if you want you can put any anything you want to mention here i'm just putting again thank you sorry thank you just a second thank you yes then now here there is another setting of estimate if you want to send your customer not the invoice but an estimate of what your um, invoice is going to be an estimated then you can send it from then you can do the settings here and then send uh, and when you are sending an estimate you don't need to go back and do the setting again you can send, do the settings here 
like you can put the name you can put a subtitle if you want again the text number or whatever and the footer foot footer and also a standard memo for your estimate so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this option save click on save once I click on save, this is going to be my, this is how it is going to look. My stand invoice is customized. Now again, I go back to my invoice on the left hand side option and show you how to create an invoice now. Now here, once you click on the invoice again, then you can see here a create an invoice option is given on the right hand side. So click on the create an invoice option so now here you can this invoice is going to be invoice number three this is it has taken now you can change here if you wish the invoice number to be something else suppose if you want it to be 100 then you can keep it as 100 if you want the name to be changed here in not invoice bill which i showed you earlier in the customized customization general customization of invoice you can change it here as well now you if you want to create it as on today's date you can create the same or else if you want to want to choose some other date you can choose that as well if you want it to be due it's a due on receipt so it's showing 22 if it opens once you send it it's going to be shown as 22 it's due on 22nd of December now this is the subheading this is the memo thank you and all those details which you have disable credit card payments now this payment part is what I'm going to show you in the next lecture so for now I'm going to disable it I'm going to show you how to do that the payments in the coming lecture so now who are you invoicing the customer name if you have the name already then it's well and good if you have not entered the names in the wave accounting also i'm going to show you how to enter your customer's name in a different lecture uh, how to upload all your customer name and everything but for now if you have if you don't have a name then you can immediately create it by typing the name suppose i want to put it as mark the name mark john mark john and and press create so it is created what is the contact details first name mark john last name and the email address you need to give an email address so that it can send your mark dot john at the rate of sorry at the rate of gmail dot com now you can put the address of mark here so whatever it his address is you can put here so i'm putting this address now if it is already there it will take if it is not there you have to type it okay so we move on the next option is what product or service did you sell now what is the product what is the whether it is a product or it is a service if it is a suppose if it is a consultancy if it if it is not there in the drop down you can create it suppose i want to create it as material i have sell, sold material now you can create press on the green but plus button and it's created it's automatically created if you want to put any description sale of product if you wish to put a description you can now this the quantity you have to mention suppose 12 and the price is 50 dollar if you want if there is any taxes you can include taxes if not you can leave it blank if there is two items suppose there is another service that you have given you can include the service description and the price so it will give you a total invoice 
in a single invoice both the in a two line items it will appear okay now you can save it you can go and save it so i'm going to save so yeah generally uh, in wave it is little slow things happen it takes little time to uh, process uh, uh an action or your uh, like creating an invoice so just little bit you need to be a little more patient patient about it and so this is how your invoice is going to look this is the invoice and if you wish to see how your customer is going to view it this is how your customer can view your invoice so this is once he opens this invoice he will find this is you are previewing your customer uh, how your customer is going to see it so once he opens he is going to see request from payment from you have he has a request from payment bill number is so and so amount due is so and so and due on 22nd of december so this is how it's going he's going to see it so now if you wish he can take a pdf he can keep a pdf copy by clicking here or take a print out so this is how your customer can view if he has some phone or ipad from an ipad you can see this this is from the phone so these are the views that he's going to see see this is how he's going to see and the logo looks amazing you can see here so it's in so when you are doing the customized setting for your invoice you should choose your logo it will look just like a proper invoice it gives a proper professional look now you can see this this is how it's going to see going to look from his uh, phone mobile phone so let's go back and see we have not sent it we have just viewing it how it looks now if you have if you if you wish to edit anything here you can do the same you can go to edit and just change if you want to if you feel something is wrong something needs to be changed so all this you can do it from the edit option so let's just go back and yes now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to send this once you click on the send button since we have already given a mail id so this is going to be sent with wave you want to send it with gmail or yahoo or outlook you can do the same if you want to set a reminder and set a reminder you can set the reminder so i'm going to show you how to set a reminder So this is due on so and so this is this is how your customer is going to see due on so and so this is how okay so send a reminder if you want to send a reminder but what you want to have to do is first send the invoice then send a reminder so let's not send it now and if you want to make it recurring you can do the same if you wish to like suppose if you are raising the invoice every month at the same time then it's better to make it and at the same amount then it's better to make it recurring so i'm going to show you how to make it recurring repeat this invoice every 30 days if it is 30 days you can make it 30 days if you wish to make it on on fortnightly you can make it fortnightly so here i'm making it 30 days starting from today's date ending if you want on a specific date to end if, or if you don't want if will it's uh, it will continue for some time then it will continue email customer automatically if you want the uh, on every 30th day of the on the th on the on on the 22nd of every month sorry uh, to send the the invoice to be sent directly to the customer it can it will get directly sent it to the customer if you tick on this checkbox if you don't then please untick it and if you want to send a copy so when the email gets sent to your customer you will get a copy in your mail id too so if you tick on this box so now here is it if you want to add a reminder 
you can add after three days from the due date on the due date if you want after three days from the due date if you want to keep a reminder you can give him a reminder if you don't want to just delete the reminder so now this is how it looks save and create an invoice now save create invoice now okay you have created see successfully created an invoice now we can go we can once we go to the invoice again it's going to show you this is invoice a saved invoice it has not been sent yet so i'm going to show you how to send it so you can send this invoice see here this is how you can you how you can send it clicking on send button so now we are going to send it with wave if you wish to enter a message you can enter a message if you want to send a copy to yourself you can click on it and enter a message saying thank you so this mess this invoice has been successfully sent now uh, this is all about how to create an invoice and uh, i'm going to show you how to receive payment through wave there is a feature which i'm going to discuss in the coming lecture so for this all this is all about how to create an invoice so i wish to see you in the next lecture again until then bye bye